Welcome to Friesen's online tutorial. My name is Catherine and today I'm going to show you the tools you will need to create a simple layout. As you can see, we've started with a two-page template that you've either created yourself using previous tutorials or that you've received from your Friesen's representative. And before we start placing elements on the page, we need to change the page numbers and save it. So we're going to go up to Layout and select Numbering and Section Options. And we're going to start our page numbering at 4. Now we're going to save our two pages. So we're going to go up to File, Save As. And we don't want to save it in Templates, so we're going to go up to our Pages folder. And we're going to save it in the proper page, so page 4 and 5. And we're also going to name our document as Page 4 and 5 Academic Divider. And this will just to help to keep us organized and everything straight. The first element we're going to add to our page is a picture. So before we put a picture on, we're going to go and we're going to draw a picture box. So we're going to go over to our toolbar on the left hand side and choose the box with an X through it. We just click on that and then we can click and drag anywhere on our two pages. And to get a picture in the picture box that we've created, we're going to go up to Friesen Tools and we're going to select Friesen's Photo Ease. And what you need to do is you just need to scroll through until you find your Pages folder and then the proper page that you're working on that we've already transferred some photos into. And now to get a picture in this box, all we do is we click on the photo we want and we drag it over top of the box that's selected and then we let go. And what happens is Friesen's Photo Ease will place that picture in the box that we've created. Now, to move the picture and the box, we can choose the direct select tool and we can click on it and now you'll see that the outside edge is highlighted and this is the box that we're working with we're not working with the picture and so you can resize it just by grabbing onto the edges And the next thing we're going to work with is the picture. So we're going to click on the direct select tool and we're going to click on it again. And because you can see this brown outside line, that is the edge of our picture. And before you resize a picture, you need to remember to press down and hold shift the entire time before you click and drag. And you need to let go of your mouse before you let go of shift. And this will keep your picture in proportion. So I'm going to show you that again. And so we're going to drag and draw another picture box. Remember, it needs to have an X through it. And we're going to go to Photo Ease and choose another photo. And we're going to click and drag and drop it on top of the photo box that we've created. And now we're going to resize the photo first. So we're going to just choose our direct select, click on it so we can see the entire photo. We need to remember to press shift down before we resize and let go of the mouse click before we let go of shift. Now the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is to create a text box. So we're just going to click on the T tool on our toolbar and we're going to just click and drag. And we're going to show you how to use the style sheets that we created, the character styles. So we're going to just type in some body copy. And 
we're going to highlight it when we're done typing. And we're going to go over to our character styles and we're going to click on body copy. And what this does, it'll change the font, it'll change the size to the one that we've preset. Now, to show you that again, I'm going to do the same thing, but we're going to choose the headline character style. So we're going to just select our T tool and we're going to click and drag a text box out on our two pages. And we're going to type in headline and select it like we did the, the caption. We're going to go to character styles and choose headline. And you can see again the font, the size, and all the specifications that we've set get changed. So these are the basic tools that you're going to need to create a simple layout and when we continue in our next tutorial I'm going to show you how to lay these elements out cre to create a simple two-page layout.